Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be updating the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro to the latest firmware. Now with the Action 5 Pro, DJI has rolled out several firmware versions and each time it was getting better. And the version you're seeing right now is the oldest one, just before the latest one. So the main reason which has attracted me to update the Action 5 Pro this time is on the release notes, the very first one there, we've got improved HDR high dynamic range. So for me that's a must as I do plenty of filming with this Action 5 Pro. So now that DJI has rolled out yet another firmware version for the Action 5 Pro, I'm hoping this HDR is going to be a lot better than the previous one which you're viewing right now. Now when you're viewing the high dynamic range, that's going to come into play when it's very bright like it is now. And also as I've just walked into some shadow areas, that's where the high dynamic range is really going to shine. So with DJI upgrading the HDR, the high dynamic range on the Action 5 Pro, we should see an overall better picture quality in the light areas and the shaded areas. So with this latest firmware version from DJI on the Action 5 Pro, it's going to make that HDR, the high dynamic range, a lot more pleasing to the eye. That's what they're claiming there. So what you're seeing right now is the oldest firmware version. And as you can see, I'm in a shaded area. So I'm going to be going around filming some clips. We're going to have some bright areas, as you can see over there, and some shaded areas right now. I'm going to be replicating those clips when I've updated it putting the split screen side by side as usual and then hopefully we can see some changes there and like I've just said keep note to the light areas and the shaded areas and in that split screen we should see some differences in that latest firmware to the old firmware so today's weather's quite decent we've got a lot of light areas and a lot of dark areas because the sun's really strong so I'm going to go around film some subjects get home and then I'm going to update the Action 5 Pro replicate the same shots Put a split screen up for you there and then we can really keep an eye on the light areas and the dark areas and let's just see if DJI has really changed that high dynamic range this time. And I'm going to keep the Action 5 Pro in automatic mode, 4K30 standard D-Warp on both the old firmware version and the new firmware version. That way I'm really going to make the camera do the work in the same modes so it's a fair comparison there. So here's a little tip for you if you're struggling to update your Action 5 Pro. A few people's contacted me saying when they open the Mimo app, they're not prompted with a yellow bar at the top. So if this happens to you, just make sure your Mimo app's on the latest firmware version. And then at the bottom right, you'll see profile. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom there and you'll see about. And then again, all the way at the bottom, check for firmware updates. And when you highlight that, as you can see, mine's currently on the latest firmware version. But that's where it's then going to prompt you to update your Action 5 Pro. And then when you go back to the home menu, you'll have a little yellow drop down box from the top of the Mimo app. You just hit that and then it'll start automatically downloading the latest firmware for the Action 5 Pro. So here's the release notes from the latest firmware version. Now, as I've said, what's attracted me to this is now we've got optimized color performance in the high dynamic range scenes to enhance visual experience. So stick around and we're really going to see if that's really coming to play with a side-by-side -side comparison there. And then they've extended the numeric suffix in the file name for two digits, like A99 to three digits, which is now A999 for easier file identification. And then they've added an auto-resume feature to handle live stream interruptions, thereby improving the viewing experience. They've also added an auto-resume feature for webcam recording, and also added support for DJI Avinox drive system to wake up the camera from sleep mode. This requires firmware version 00.10.16.06 or later. And then finally, the good old one from DJI on every single update, no matter what equipment you're using, we've fixed some minor bugs. So now that we've fully dated the Action 5 Pro to the latest firmware, let's continue with the video. Here we go.
So has DJI finally done it, or we're going to see yet another firmware update. Because if they do, I've completely lost count now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, like I said at the beginning, what was that? Like I said at the beginning of the video, we've had several updates now. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. And now that you've seen that old firmware version versus the new firmware version, it's up to you if you update it or not. So as always, do stay tuned to the channel as there's going to be plenty more videos on the horizon. But for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and bye for now.